Is this it? Is this it? Is this it or is this not it? This is my daughter's by the way because I don't have anything like this, but it looks so, we're just gonna go with it for right now. Oh, for crying out loud, I'll just put my hair up. Come on, just come on. Bangs, didn't you, Danielle? Yeah, I did. We've only tried doing that probably 10,000 times in my lifetime. Never learn. I have a. What is that? It's hard to get through my hair because I have so much dry. Stop touching your hair and leave it. Just stop. I can't. Stop. Okay. I got a video for you. <laughs> this is gonna be all of the things, literally. See, since we got back from the cabin, uh, I have been in a daze. <laughs> um, yeah, when we got back, we had a bunch of errands we had to run. Ian went right back to work. The kids are in their activities. They have things going on. I have to run around after them. I'm trying to do all of the things in the house. And I was tired. The fresh air knocks it out of me. And when we go up to the cabin, we're out in the elements. I'm more of an indoors type person, but when I go to the cabin, I go out to the elements. And it takes a lot out of me. It's not, I'm not used to it. <laughs> So, yeah, I just didn't care. <laughs> Sometimes that's okay. That's okay to just take a break, just take a minute. And just be like, you know what, I don't care. 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 <laughs> you know? Sometimes it's okay. <laughs> I am giving me myself that. I'm so tired. I need more. I'm gonna get some more coffee. So are we doing all of the things? You betcha, you betcha. Now let's go get my you betcha cup, fill it up with some coffee and get going because we're doing all the things, all of them. Let's go. I need deodorant, I am sweating. Okay, <laughs> what a video I have for you today indeed. What? <laughs> didn't come out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Back it up, Danielle. Okay. <laughs> I have a video for you today, and it's a lot, a bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So before I talk about what I'm doing currently right now, in this room, which is the four season, which I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the four season because I get a lot of questions about this room. Uh, before I talk about what I'm doing here, I did wanna mention a couple of things. So this video was made before the last video. So I'll link the last video in the description box below. The last video was a decluttering video at my parents' house. I've been helping my mom declutter, my parents declutter their home. Uh, it's been an ongoing thing. It's going to be an ongoing thing for a long time. <laughs> they have a lot of stuff, 30 plus years of stuff, and it's going to be a process. It's been a process. And I'm going to talk more about that in today's video. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to get into all things like updates, progress, everything, upcoming videos in regards to helping my parents declutter their home. We're going to get into that in today's video. Um, but this was filmed before that video. Uh, I filmed this, I think a day or so after I got back from the cabin. This was just a little bit after the 4th of July. And it took me about three days. This is like a house reset, refresh. 
Uh, there's a lot of organization, a lot of decluttering, a lot of cleaning in today's video. So I really hope that this is super motivating. Uh, we're working on mainly four, well, we're working only on four rooms in today's video. We're working on this room, which is the Four Season, the dining room, the bathroom, and the kitchen. The bedrooms, the rest of the house, the, which is the bedrooms, uh, the tiny bathroom that's attached to Ian and I's room, and the living room, there, there's nothing really to do in there as of right now. The house, for the most part, has actually been staying pretty picked up but these four rooms that we're working on in today's video there was a quite there was quite a bit that needed to get done uh the four season the dining room and bathroom were mainly decluttering and organizing with a little bit of cleaning and then the kitchen were just cleaning so that's kind of a, a brief rundown of what's going on in today's video there's some super satisfying before and afters um they're not right next to each other i i didn't do it that way but um I, there's before you know before and afters if you've been with me for a while you you know how much i love my satisfying before and afters uh and then uh what else oh just lots of talking and utilizing what i have i'm utilizing everything that i use to organize in today's video are items that i already had so that's kind of a brief rundown <laughs> Okay, so this stuff right here is books that we don't need that is gonna get donated. This is, so this stuff here is getting donated. This was the only garbage. All of this was the memorabilia stuff. It's gonna go downstairs in the memorabilia sentimental bins, including my grandmother's. Um, I've showed this before on the channel, but it's like a little butterfly pin. That was my grandmother's. This is all stuff that is going to go back into that cabinet. This is just like extra folders and like pack, like envelopes, folders, stuff like that. That I am going to put back up there. Um, this t-shirt, it, it's a t-shirt. It's a, a gift for um, my sister-in-law who is due any second now. This is for, for her. So I'm actually going to put that up here. Um, all of this stuff here, this right here, these are old planners, um, old planners and notebooks. And then like this card here, this father's day card. And then I, I was keeping the labels of some of my favorite candles from Opal house and I don't need that. So that, and a lot of this artwork here, all of this stuff here is getting recycled. So that's all recycling. And then I have this stuff here that needs to go in with important paperwork. So in the other cabinet up here, and then of course this is going in the party bin because I just showed you that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the garbage and the recycling. Um, no, recycling, garbage, donation. I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff. I'm gonna put all of this stuff downstairs and then I'm gonna put this back in that cabinet. Before I get into what this room is, because I do get a lot of questions about this room, it's called a four season, also called an addition. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what it is, uh, but I first wanted to talk about what I'm doing here so far. So there were quite a lot of cabinets that I wanted to declutter and organize in this room. They were starting to get a little out of hand. I have to be very careful with cabinets. So for me, uh, cabinets are dangerous <laughs> because prior to my journey with minimalism, uh, I am on a journey to minimalism. I have been uh, for the last, uh, now it's been a year, I've been uh on this incredible journey to minimalism. If you're new to my channel, uh, I'll link the uh, series down below, the beginning of my journey to minimalism, uh, as well as my, uh, my playlist for all of the videos that I've been doing over at my parents' house. I've been helping them declutter. I'll get into that, I'm jumping ahead of myself. But 
because uh, I was going to talk about my parents' house, but I forgot to finish what I was originally talking about. One thing at a time, Danielle. This is how my brain works. I have to try to keep on track. But uh, before my journey to minimalism, I would literally shove everything in cabinets, closets, drawers, under the bed, anywhere that I could hide clutter. Clutter always bugged me. It always made me feel very anxious. It always stressed me out. So I always wanted to hide it. So it wasn't that I had a lot of clutter out. It was the fact that I had a lot of clutter hidden. I had a lot of stuff jam-packed in places that I just didn't go to, like the mudroom, the garage, the basement, or places that I could just hide it. Sometimes, even now, I will fall back into bad habits and I'll start throwing things in hidden places. So I have to, I have to do what I call organization maintenance as well as decluttering maintenance. I have to do this frequently in order to stay on top of not accumulating clutter, in order to keep things organized and decluttered. So there were some cabinets in here that just really needed a lot of help. And this cabinet that I'm working on right now, this was the miscellaneous cabinet where I literally threw everything, just random stuff. This is recycling. These I'm gonna go ahead and put out in the mud room with the rest of the bags because I keep these. And then this is all garbage. All of this is garbage. We're gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. I really don't need this anymore. I was using this to paint so this can go. And then this can go too because this went to a table that uh, I got rid of. So why did I keep this? I think I was gonna make a DIY project out of it because it was a nice piece of wood. Should I? Well, I could do something cute with that. Are you going to do something cute with it? No. No, I'm not. We're gonna get rid of this. <laughs> Now, this was my mom's. I, I don't want this. I, I, I think at one point in time I was going to uh, donate this. And then I didn't because it was my mom's. And I was like, oh, I can't do that. And I would give it back to her. She's going to watch this. She watches my videos. <laughs> Mom, do you want it or not? Let me know. I mean, you, let's think about this because you have quite a bit. <laughs> Santa here is cute, but uh, you know, I will just, I don't want him. So regardless, he's leaving. But you may see this at my mom's house. I can't not guarantee that. <laughs> Ugh. This is disgusting. It's so gross. I'm just gonna keep spraying. That's what I gotta do. No, I gotta organize that down. Yeah. Okay, and then we need it to. <clears throat> it's just, it's so much that my brain hurts. Gross.
I'm always talking, even if it's talking to myself. <laughs> but I kept coming back into this room. I kept going back and forth with things in this room. This took me a while because I wanted to find permanent homes for a lot of things uh, that were in this room, but keep it in this room, if that made sense. So I'm gonna show you all the cabinets that I worked on. A lot of, a little bit of decluttering, a lot of rearranging and organizing. One of the things that I definitely wanted to get done was empty out completely empty out the cabinets that are over by the fireplace those are empty and will stay empty i'm just kidding <laughs> that's funny no <laughs> I am completely done with the four season. Uh, there were just a couple of things though that I I did go back into the four season and I did a couple of other things, so did Ian. But for the most part, the four season is done. We're gonna start cleaning the kitchen. But I did want to I, I did want to mention what the four season is. I keep saying that I'm going to and I keep like going from one thing to the next. So the four season of four season. Uh, is basically like in addition it's an extended part of the home it's uh it's like a it's like a fancy or bigger I don't want to say fancy but um it's a porch it's uh it, it's a porch that you can use all year long is basically what a four season is four seasons three seasons there's also three seasons I even think let's google it I think there's a two season hold on two season porch oh there is is there i'm googling it right now two three season porch images of two season porch okay so there is two three two season three season four season and here i'll do this google because we google everything if you've been with me for a while you know that i google everything Four season, let's learn how to spell porch. Okay, well, give me a definition. Give me the definition. Just give me a definition. Definition. There we go. Okay, F according to Google, four season rooms are built using structurally <laughs> insulated panes. Okay, which keep these sunrooms cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Four season rooms often come built with some type of climate control or HVAC system. I think that's how you say it. Generally, the glass used in the windows, wait, generally, comma, the glass used in the windows of a four season room is superior at regulating indoor temperatures. Okay, sure, that's what Google's saying, but here's, here's, here's a lot of what I hear, or this is kind of my take on it too. A four season is basically a porch. It's an extended porch. There's usually a lot of windows, um, and you can use it all year long. The thing with our four season is that there is no ventilation in here other than the fireplace, the ventilation that's in the fireplace. We don't have any heating or AC in this room. So there's just the fireplace. So technically, yes, we can use it all year long, but once like July hits, which is the warmest month in Minnesota, I'm pretty sure, um, it's really, it can get really hot in here and it's really not, we're not in here because it is so hot in there. Uh, I mean, there's a ceiling fan, but that doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Um, but you could still use it. And then in the winter, you know, even in the coldest months, like January is usually the coldest, you know, end of December, January into Fe February is usually the coldest months in Minnesota. Cause I'm, we, if you didn't know, I'm in Minnesota. Um, and this fireplace during those months, the coldest months, 
uh, the fireplace usually takes, I'd say like a, a relatively short period of time. It's usually like between 30 to 35 minutes, sometimes even less, like 20 to 30 minutes to completely warm the room up, even in negative degree weather. So yeah, we can use this all year long. It is a true four season, but it's basically an addition of the house. So anyway, if you've ever been curious about, you know, what this room is, I get a lot of questions about it. That's kind of what it is. Um, and they're pretty popular in Minnesota. I love this room. I, I'm, I'm actually sitting in this room while doing the voiceover. I usually do all, I usually do my voiceovers in here. That's why it kind of echoes. I shouldn't because it does echo. I shouldn't do voiceovers in here, but it's my happy place. It's my quiet room. It's the reason Ian and I bought the house. We had never had a room like this before. And I honestly, like the rest of the house is, it's a, fine house don't get me wrong but it was this room that really sold us it was like this is really cool it's really special to us and we've never had anything like this especially the fireplace which was like my the fireplace and the french doors in the living room are my two favorite things out of the entire house um not super in love with my kitchen which i'm in right now uh it's you know it's not my favorite it needs a lot of work <laughs> I'm not someone you should cheat on Cause when I come back, I come back strong Raise your glass to the sky Let's toast to that All these people can stare I don't care about that This is my pity party I'm gonna cry all night <laughs> Yeah, that's random. Yeah, you know. Well, this isn't bad. See, it's not super bad. All right, let's take a look in here. Why is this thing always just a wreck? Oh yeah, well, it's been worse. It just, it just needs a little organization maintenance. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Takes me a while to get up. Takes me a while to get up. I feel like I'm very behind in talking throughout this video because I didn't even get a chance to mention the kitchen and what I did in the kitchen. I feel like I was talking about the Four Seasons while I was doing the kitchen. I was doing the intro while working in the Four Seasons. Then as I was working in the kitchen, I was talking about the Four Seasons. Now I'm working in the dining room. We're decluttering and organizing most of the cabinets and drawers in the dining room because they've been driving me nuts. I also clean the entire, I clean the entire house. I mean, literally the whole house, windows, floors, garbage, laundry, everything, except the bedrooms and the living room because those weren't bad, but uh, I'm behind. But I did want to mention a couple of things about the kitchen. The kitchen, I hate. I don't like my kitchen. It bugs me and I'm overdue to do a, I do this frequently. I've made so many videos on my kitchen because I still am not happy with how I have decluttered and organized 
more specifically how I've organized my kitchen. I really dislike my kitchen, like everything about my kitchen. I hope to one day completely make it over. That's going to be a lot and probably a ways out in the future, but I'm doing it. Uh, it's happening, but at least for the time being, and I keep saying this, I really, there's so many things that I want to do. It's just the time and money. It's like, I, I have to have the time to do it. And I also need the funds to do it. And, uh, it's a lot because I have so many different projects that I, I have to get to first. Um, but anyway, I do like to frequently completely go through the whole kitchen and I have tried reorganizing it. I don't even know how many times and I still don't like it. I still hate how I've done it. Uh, so I have to make a video on that soon because we're going to try to tackle it again. But, uh, I did completely clean the entire kitchen. I mean, top to bottom, the counters, the floors, the garbage was taken out. Recycling was taken out, taken out. The dishes were done. I really wanted to scrub the top of my stove, which by the way, um, I'll link this video in the description box below the video where I ripped my oven door off because I thought that would be a great idea. Uh, because I thought it would make it easier to clean the inside of my oven because I seen it somewhere on YouTube and we couldn't get it back on. Eventually my dad and Ian got it back on and then it came off again when Ian was out of town. So my dad came over and officially fixed the door because they were, they were going to give us their old oven because they, they're completely renovating their entire kitchen, which you're going to see super satisfying before and afters of their kitchen. My dad basically renovated his entire kit. He did it himself. He renovated the whole kitchen. My mom got all new flooring. Um, all my, my parents got new cabinets. They got a new kitchen table. It's, it's really cool. The last thing they have to do is flooring. Um, but they were going to give us their old oven because that door kept coming off the uh, our oven door kept coming off the problem with that is that their oven wouldn't have it wouldn't have looked good in my kitchen because it wouldn't have fit perfectly because i think the oven that's in our house currently was almost like customized for this kitchen from what i i think but regardless their oven wouldn't have fit right it would have worked but it wouldn't have looked good so the door is officially fixed also the mini fridge is out of the kitchen uh it's in my dining room right now because the freezer stopped working so yeah we are undecided we don't, I haven't tried to work it again. Ian thinks it'll work. I don't know. I'll update you. I hate that mini fridge. If you've been with me for a while, you know that that thing has moved from room to room. It was in my, the corner of my living room for the longest time, all through football season, because Ian and his friends really loved it in the living room and wanted it to stay in there. And I was like, you're out of your mind. It's not staying in the living room. It needs to go downstairs. It's just the downstairs is unfinished. There's so much that I'm saying and let's get more into what I'm doing. So that's the kitchen. <laughs> I'll keep you updated on future videos that we're gonna be doing with organizing and decluttering the kitchen and the mini fridge. So the dining room cabinets and the drawers, they also need, basically all of the drawers and cabinets around the house need organization and decluttering maintenance from you know periodically from time to time they need i i have to go through these these areas because especially with closets cabinets drawers things like that like i had stated earlier in today's video uh these are areas where i can sometimes fall back into bad habits i can start throwing stuff you know, random stuff in, you know, random places. I, I can start throwing things where they don't belong. Uh, you know, items that aren't in their permanent home. I just start throwing things in cabinets and drawers because it's a hidden area. And uh, the majority of the cabinets in the dining room, these lower cabinets here, is basically the kids' stuff. So the, the top drawers are, you know, mostly batteries, Ian and I's junk drawer. There's three junk drawers, which I'm going to get into the drawers in just a little bit, but there's three junk drawers up there. Uh, that's basically Ian and I's. And then there's like batteries and things like that. But the lower cabinets, this is where most of all of the kids stuff is. Their arts and crafts, their painting, their Play-Doh, worksheets, workbooks, 
you know, crayons, markers, all of that stuff. There's only one cabinet, uh, which is the very end cabinet that has my steamer in it and my vacuum attachments. Uh, but the rest of the stuff is the kids stuff. So off camera, the kids are, you know, going through some of this stuff. They're, you know, keeping what they want to keep. They're letting go what they want to let go of. There's a lot of recycling. There was a ton of recycling at, at when I was, uh, you'll see it. There wasn't much garbage. Uh, right here is all of the recycling. It's a lot of recycling. There was a lot of stuff that they just weren't using. They didn't need. And there was, you know, even empty boxes. That discovery box there was empty. Uh, so a lot of recycling, very little garbage. There were some items that were, uh, that didn't belong. And then you'll see all of the, the items that were donated. So again, it's just very good to go through all of this stuff periodically and really just you know keep up on that organization and decluttering maintenance. I should say decluttering first because you should always declutter before you should always declutter before you organize. And I also wanted to mention that before I organize, before I declutter and organize, I get my piles ready. Preferably I should use a box. I should use a box for, for donation items, but I most of the time use a bag. But I have my donation pile, my garbage pile, my recycling pile. If I need a maybe pile, I will create a maybe pile. Uh, sometimes there's a do not belong pile. I just have every all of my piles ready. It just makes the process a lot easier. And then as I'm decluttering, what I try to do, and I try to do this more, I've been doing this more often, especially over at my mom's house. You know, it's been a while since I've done a lot of decluttering because I've already done, well, I for sure have done round one of decluttering in my house. Um, you know, now since starting my journey to minimalism, I've, well, I'm not started. I've been on my journey to minimalism for a year now. Um, you know, I've already gone through round one. I haven't done as much decluttering around the house. I've been focusing more on makeovers and organization around my house. Although there's always decluttering to do, and I still have a lot of stuff, especially in certain areas, basement, <laughs> got to get to that, got to get to the basement eventually. But, um, you know, like for example, over at my parents' house, I've been uh, emptying everything out, and and I've I used I've done that before, even in my own home, where I would take an area, I would literally remove everything from that area, and I want I want to see the space completely cleared out, completely emptied, so I can see that space cleared and visualize what I want that space to look like. Um, but then what I'm doing is grouping like items together. I want to keep like items together as I'm pulling things out. And that makes decluttering so much easier as well as organizing. When I start to put those items back, it makes it so much easier to organize those items and find permanent homes for those items when everything is, you know, all like items are grouped together. I've also been labeling a lot more and that's what I'm doing here. I'm labeling, you know, crayons. I'm, I'm labeling the marker uh, bin. I'm labeling the painting bin, the arts and crafts bin, the Play-Doh bin. I, I really love labeling. Uh, I would like to micro organize more than I do, but macro organizing works a lot better for my family. I prefer micro organizing just because I like the way it looks and it's easier for me to organize, but it it's not easier for my family. My family works better with macro organizing and I have no problem with macro organizing. Okay, it is the next day. I have not done my makeup or changed my shirt yet. So, <laughs> I gotta do that. But, this isn't really that bad. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this, like, really, really fast. Like, can you see that? like this fast oh that's quick i'm lightning fast <laughs> okay there's too many I, I wanted to go quickly through the drawers 
because there's so much more that I wanted to add in today's video. We're gonna head into the bathroom here pretty soon. So I quickly showed you the drawers. There's too many dang junk drawers, way too many. There's three in the dining room, three. There's one for me, then there's Ian's drawer. So there's my junk drawer, Ian's junk drawer. Then there's a drawer for batteries. Then there's a drawer for our change, as well as my little green container that's holding all of my knobs. I keep all of the knobs uh, that I've switched out uh, in the house in that little container. Then there is a massive junk drawer. Yeah, yeah. There's also a junk drawer in the entryway, the entryway table drawer has turned into a junk drawer and there's a junk drawer in the kitchen which is the smallest drawer in the kitchen that's way too many junk drawers hence why i want a command center which i i, I keep saying we're going to do this command center and what's throwing me off at the command center is the fact that the the the, the entryway closet which is what i would like to turn the uh the entryway closet into a command center the problem with that closet is it's the worst closet ever. It's, it's not leveled at the bottom because it's right on top of the stairs. So there's like maybe six or seven inches of flat floor. The rest of it is just a, a, a steep. Is that right? Am I saying that right? It's, it's, uh, it's, you know, slanted. Yeah, it's awful. And trying to figure out how to utilize that space the best that I possibly can, to organize it the best that I can, to level it the best that I can, has been a challenge. But ultimately, I would like to make a command center where we don't have five junk drawers. That's ridiculous. But I do like to have a drawer for specifically for Ian and for I. Uh, that what? <laughs> for Ian and I. There we go. Uh, because that's where we throw our wallet and our keys and well not our keys we keep our keys on the tray the little wood heart tray on the counter because it's cute and i like my keys there but like you know ian and i's you know cell phone charger our chapstick uh miscellaneous stuff our miscellaneous stuff our wallet stuff like that so anywho um that was completely uh decluttered and organized it looks a lot better and there was, oh, and the last thing that I wanted to mention before I get into the bathroom is the organizing material. I love those trays that I used in those drawers, uh, the clear trays and the pink trays in the junk drawer. All of those, all of the organizing materials in the drawers are from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has awesome organization materials, but everything that I use to organize in today's video, I already had. I try to utilize what I have on hand because I, I try not to buy new things as much as I can possibly help it. Sometimes I do have to get new organizing materials because I'm, you know, organizing something I haven't organized before or contained before, uh, you know, and sometimes things break and I need to replace them. Um, and sometimes organizing materials don't work and I have to switch it out and I'm constantly reorganizing because I'm, I'm always trying to find a a better way to organize um a way where it's more time efficient it's you know more manageable it's easier i i try to find better permanent homes for my items honestly one of the best pieces of advice that i can give to organize is literally a finding permanent homes for most all of your items especially if anything your um your uh vital items you know like your wallet your keys you know things like that find permanent homes really honestly for everything but if you if you can't do that or you don't want to do that really finding uh permanent homes for your vital items very very key but also putting things back right away that's my downfall is putting things back right away after using them and that's when things get really disorganized and that's why i do a lot of videos on organizing and decluttering because it's a lot of maintenance 
So, um, but anyway, I do like to use organizing materials that I already have on hand. However, when we go to work on the kitchen eventually, I am going to be going to Walmart uh, because I have heard amazing things about Walmart's organizing materials and I want to check it out. A lot of what I have is from the Dollar Tree, Target, Hobby Lobby. I'm heading to Walmart. And I also have a lot of stuff from uh, Amazon as well. A lot of organizing materials from Amazon, but we're heading to Walmart because I've heard amazing things. So one of uh, those, the clear, you know those square clear bins you've been seeing? I placed my, my cards in one of those clear bins at the beginning of today's video because we're big card givers in my family. We give cards for Halloween, Christmas, Easter, birthdays, thank you cards, you name it, we have cards. And I put all of my cards in one of those clear square bins. I also put all of the kids' arts and crafts stuff in one of those clear squared bins. Those are from Target. Love them. I love them. We are heading into the bathroom. And we have been in the bathroom for a while now, haven't we? Okay, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I possibly can when it comes to the bathroom because I still have so much that I need to get to before the end of today's video and we are almost at the end of today's video. Uh, with the bathroom, I usually don't film cleaning the tub and the shower because I do that when I'm in the shower. <laughs> it's just easier. But uh, there, there was some things that needed to be cleaned. I cleaned the entire bathroom. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention is the toilet. So I love using vinegar as a cleaning product. I never have it on hand. I always forget it. So I recently bought a huge jug of vinegar. So I have it for a while and I poured, a, a I poured vinegar in an empty water bottle so that water bottle is my bathroom vinegar just like i have my my bathroom my toilet soap so if you don't know what my toilet soap is it's currently in a empty mrs meyers bottle my toilet soap is soaps that i don't want or i don't like i'm not using it sometimes i buy dish soap or hand soap that i don't like the smell of it or i don't like the way it cleans and all of that gets dumped into my toilet soap bottle. Uh, I don't like to waste things. I try to repurpose things and as much stuff as I can. And soaps are no exception. <laughs> so before I start cleaning the bathroom, I usually will put vinegar and baking soda when I have vinegar on hand. Uh, I will pour that into the toilet. And then right before I'm ready to clean the toilet, I'll pour my toilet soap in there, scrub it down real good, and my toilets shine. So I, it's, yeah, great, great products to use together. But um, as far as decluttering and organizing in here, I tried to go through it as quickly as I could because I, I jammed so much into today's video. I tried to uh, highlight key points, I suppose, for uh, the decluttering and organizing of the bathroom. Uh, the two drawers that I wanted to focus on in the bathroom was my hair care, my hair care product drawer, and then the drawer underneath that one. Because I just recently organized my makeup. I need to declutter my makeup, but I organized it. And I wasn't super concerned about that drawer. That's usually the worst drawer next to my hair care drawer. And the hair care drawer is holding not only my stuff, but also Zoe's stuff. So the drawer underneath the hair care products drawer was not being utilized properly. There was a bunch of random stuff in there. There was stuff that I didn't want anymore, so I decluttered a lot of it. And I decided to use that drawer as additional hair care products because the hair care drawer was overflowing all of the time. It was hard to find stuff. There was too much in it. So uh, I figured why not use that bottom drawer and keep the hair care product drawers together. That was a lot of words at one time. The next video is going, we're going back over to my parents' house. I'm already filming it. In fact, I filmed some of it today. Uh, so I, I hung out with my mom today. We talked about the upstairs, the kitchen, the meatloaf cook-off. Don't worry, I did not forget about the meatloaf cook-off. That is coming very soon. I know I keep saying that, but I promise it is coming soon. My mom and I are trying to work out 
uh, the details on the meatloaf cook-off because we kind of also forgot, my mom and I also forgot that even though my mom and I are doing the cook-off, uh, we have taste testers that we have to schedule with too. My kids, Ian and my dad are all the ones who are going to be testing out our meatloafs. They're the ones that are going to decide who has the better meatloaf. And I have to work around their schedule as well because on the weekends, my mom and I, we declutter, we film decluttering. So my mom works full time, she works a lot of hours. Ian works full time, works a lot of hours. My dad is retired, however he has, my dad is always busy, always busy. He is always keeping himself busy. He has so many projects that he's working on. He goes over to friends house, this man stays busy. So it's when, when the weekends come around, that's my time to film over at my parents' house. So sometimes we'll do, we'll film on a Friday, but it's usually pretty rare. It's usually Saturdays and Sundays. That's like our window to film. So my mom is on this mode, she's in this mode, this decluttering mode. And that's what happened to me when I started to declutter. I did not want to stop. I did not want to stop decluttering. I just wanted to keep going because it felt amazing to let go of, you know, everything and to see the results. My mom is loving the results of decluttering and she's mo she's getting that motivation she's feeling that motivation and every time i come over that's what she wants to do she wants to declutter so and we have so much more decluttering to do that we 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 still have to coordinate the meatloaf cook off so we have to figure out a time to do that we were thinking about uh, not doing the meatloaf cook-off during the weekend, but maybe when she was done with work, she could stop over at my house and we could do that. But then we also have to work around my dad's schedule and Ian's schedule. So we're working on it. We bring it up in the next video, but I just wanted to let you know, I know I keep saying, I know, I know that there's a lot of you who are really excited about that and so are we. And I just want you to know, we did not forget about it. It is happening. We're just working on it. Um, so it's coming soon, I promise. I, I can't give an exact date, but we are working on it. But, um, you know, we also have plans for the upstairs because the next video we are decluttering in the dining room and there's a reason for that. And I, we, we hadn't for, we're not forgetting about the upstairs because the upstairs isn't finished yet. There's still some decluttering left. We're almost done with round one of decluttering upstairs, but there's a lot more decluttering that we have to do. Plus there's a ton of organization that we have to do. So to finish up round one of decluttering in the upstairs, I'm probably gonna make a two-parter on it. So it'll be a part one and a part two, and both of those videos will incorporate decluttering finishing round one of decluttering upstairs as well as organization. And because we're gonna be doing a lot of organization, we need to get materials for that because she doesn't have a lot of organizing materials and that takes time and money to plan. So while we're accumulating the organizing materials for the upstairs, we wanted to move on to another area. And we really should finish one area first, but we are moving to another area, but we will not forget about the upstairs or the meatloaf cook-off. <laughs> but we're moving on to the dining room, and the reason why we're doing the dining room is because the kitchen is finished. My dad finished remodeling the kitchen. The last thing that's left is the flooring. When the flooring is put in, which should be in the next couple of weeks, then we're gonna head into the kitchen and we're gonna start decluttering and there is so much work that is gotta, that's gonna be put into this kitchen declutter. It's gonna be many videos, a very long time. There's a lot of stuff. But when my dad was remodeling the kitchen, a lot of stuff from the kitchen got shoved into the dining room. The dining room is full of everything. It is randomness. It is everything. And there is a lot of stuff from the kitchen and the dining room. And before we start working on the kitchen, we should really get that stuff out of the way first. So that is the next video. We are going to head back over to my parents' house and it's probably gonna be a couple of videos to, to finish the dining room. We are taking our time. You know, this is very different from when I was decluttering my house because I had a goal of minimalism. Like my goal was to never be an extreme minimalist. That was, and I've said that from the beginning. 
I have said over and over that moderate minimalism is all, moderate minimalism is just where I've always felt the most comfortable. My parents, that's not their end goal at at least at this point in time in their life. Minimalism is just not on their radar. They just want to simply downsize and get rid of some some of the stuff. The problem is is that they have 30 plus years of stuff. They've also inherited items from loved ones who have passed. So they've never decluttered before. It's just not something that they ever thought to do and it's just they've kept everything. So this is a very long process, which I'm totally fine with because these are seriously my absolute favorite videos to make. I love working with my mom. It's so much fun. We have so much fun. She's my best friend. We surely talk to each other like friends. <laughs> We have an awesome mother-daughter relationship, but we also have an awesome friendship and we're very sarcastic with each other. We joke around a lot with each other and it's really cool to be able to share all of that with you and to not only share my journey with you, but to also now share my mom's, my parents' journey with you. It's just really cool and I love it. Just makes my heart so happy that you guys love those videos because I love those videos too. I, I love making those videos. I could seriously just stay over at my parents and just make those videos, but I still have a lot of stuff that I have to do over at my house too. So we're going to be bouncing back and forth from my house to their house for a really long time. I mean, I have makeovers that I need to get done. I ha and I have to figure out how to plan this stuff because I feel like sometimes I'm a little lost and scattered. Shocking, right? <laughs> I really got to get it together and really start organizing and planning it. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Well, that's it for today's super long and chatty video, which is not unusual <laughs> because all of my videos are super long and chatty but i really hope that you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here with me i appreciate you so much and we will talk to you on the next one bye everyone why is it every time i do weird stuff my neighbors are outside i don't even care anymore in the wind.